Okay. Well, here we are over by the, on the back side of the Sizzler Steakhouse. Where it should be pretty well shielded, but I'm still getting, uh, well... Still getting some numbers coming through here. The, the problem is Big Bear is so... Such a concentration of cell antennas and cell towers that I don't think there's going to be too many places you can get away from it, either inside your homes or especially outside. And as you can see by the uh, video of the inside of a cottage, that uh, oftentimes the, the homes themselves, uh, things in the home seem to be taking up the radiation and concentrating it in hot spots in, in, the, in the home. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to walk around the... Uh, we'll walk around the other side here and expose ourselves directly to the uh, I've never seen such a, a large array of uh, cell panels set so close to the ground where it can uh, affect so many more people at such close range. Take a walk out here in front of Sizzler. Now these poor folk in here who work here on a daily basis, I'm not sure how much radiation is getting in, but the glass doesn't really stop much. So we got 23,000, is what I got the other day, about 23, 24,000. But 23,290 from this Got on scrolling. There you go. So that's a pretty freaking high constant level. And go ahead and max it out again. Okay, we must be getting a direct, a direct view of a few of the panels. We've gone up to 31,610 for a max pulse. Okay, I'm not going to hang out here too much longer. This ain't good. So, uh, I don't know, 32,000. I don't know how much money whoever owns this parking lot is getting from allowing this cell tower to be in there to be on their property, but I gotta assume that if they knew what, what this is uh, giving off and how unnatural it is to the human body, they might think twice about allowing it and then again maybe not people have harmed other people for less money 